Hello everyone, welcome to Gardening TLC. My name is Michelle and I live in Northern Illinois, Zone 5. Let me introduce you to Eloise and David. These are the two heads that we planted at the beginning of the summer. They've been fabulous all summer long, but I'm ready for a change. So you saw me bring all these supplies over here because what we're gonna do, we're gonna deconstruct them. But I don't wanna waste a lot of the succulents that are in here, so we are going to be making pumpkin succulent planters on the tops of the pumpkins that we can use for the rest of the fall season. I love making these little planters. They are so easy to do. They're a lot of fun. You can do them with kids. It's a great way to upcycle and change out your pots of succulents. You can even clip them from the ground if you want to get them from your yard and you've got them growing there. Because the best thing about this, there's no dirt involved whatsoever. Hmm, no dirt. How can I possibly get that succulent to live in this pumpkin without any dirt? Well, we aren't putting them in the pumpkin. We're putting them on top of the pumpkin. So if I'm gonna put them on top of the pumpkin and I'm not gonna have any dirt, what does that mean? I'll tell you what it means. It means off with their heads. We are gonna start with Eloise. And as you can see, she needs a serious haircut. We used moss rose to kind of mimic her hair, but the moss rose has really grown out. It's pretty much done blooming. So we're actually just gonna pull all of the moss rose out and we're gonna throw it into the compost bin. But we do wanna keep all of the echeverias and the hens and chicks. We definitely want those. Oh, she's also got some really pretty sedum. We're gonna keep that too. So we're just gonna clip everything out and then we'll dump the dirt out and throw it away. I'll clean Eloise out and then she'll be ready for another project. So let's get to it. Okay, are you ready for your haircut? All right, well, first thing we're gonna do is just clip some of this off. so we can actually see what we're working with. Now that we've given her a haircut and I can kind of see all the individual plants, because I don't want the moss rose, but I want all these other succulents that are in here, I'm gonna take my little snips and I'm gonna get in here and I'm going to, because they've rooted, I'm gonna cut one out. All right, so I cut one out and I end up with this little chick right here. And I'm gonna go in here and I'm just gonna clean off all this dirt and everything, the dried leaves, anything that's in there that I don't want. And then when I'm done, I've just got this bottom right here, see? And then I'm left with this little chick that I can use on the top of my pumpkin. So that's what I'm gonna do first, is clean this whole thing out and take everything that I wanna use and just put it to the side. In David and Eloise, we had two centerpiece uh, echeverias, and I can't use these on the pumpkins. They're just too big. I mean, even my biggest pumpkin, yeah. See, it's just misproportioned. It won't work. You wanna use littler items. Now, what I will do is I will wait a couple days, and I will let a hard little scab form on the top of this succulent, and then what I'll do is I'll get a terracotta pot, and I'll just wiggle this down into the dirt. I'll put it in my office underneath a grow light, and this will take probably a couple months, but it'll form new roots and then it'll be ready for me to recycle next year or this winter into another project because there's no way I'm wasting this piece. So you can do that whenever, like they grow on you and they're leggy or maybe you, you know, 
it's just too big for the project that you're doing. Now, see how this little leaf fell off? I can actually use this leaf, though, on my pumpkin. All right, so these guys, I'm just gonna let them form little scabs, and then we'll pop these up in a couple days. We got a pretty good collection of stuff, but I don't think it's enough, and I want a little more color contrast, so I did bring over some other succulents that I had, and we're gonna prep those, behead them, pare them down into smaller pieces, and then I'll show you how to put the pumpkins together. that I needed a little bit of flowers for my pumpkins so I'm gonna pick some of the smaller flower heads of this sedum I think those look really pretty in there the other thing I have down here is a little patch of dragon's blood sedum so they're smaller the textures a little bit different so I'm gonna grab some of those as well just to give me some options We have a great selection of succulents to put on the top of our pumpkins. We've cleaned them all off, we're ready to go. But we can't just glue them to the top of the pumpkin. If you just glue them to the top of the pumpkin, they can actually pop right off because we are using a glue gun. Now I don't wanna use a stronger glue than this, but I wanna use this glue so it's strong enough. I can pop these succulents off at the end of the season and pop them up in little pots put them inside underneath my grow lights, they'll grow roots, and I can use all of these succulents again next year. But first what I have to do to prep my little pumpkin is I've gotta have a bed to put my succulents on. So I use moss. So this is super moss and you can do different kinds. So this is a forest moss. You could use a mountain moss. You could even use like a piece of sheet moss if that's what you wanted to do. But you need something to create that nest to glue the succulents onto. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna glue this moss onto the top of the pumpkin. Now in my humble opinion, to make these look really cool and really bring out some personality in them, I think you need some other embellishments as well to totally accent out your pumpkin and make it look totally cool. So in here I have some different reindeer moss. I have red, I have brown, black, chartreuse, I have a pumpkin, a dark brown, and then I've got some Spanish moss and I've got green and wine. I've also got some bark that maybe I could use. I also have a couple black rocks and I think I might be using those in conjunction with I have a little turtle and a little frog that I can put on top as well. So all kinds of fun things that you can do. It doesn't just have to be succulents. You can add your own little personality in there. And for all you little gnomey people out there, you could put a little gnome in there if you want to. I might put him in, might not, we'll see. So we're gonna start with this little pumpkin first. Now you have to decide if you wanna keep the stem or not. I don't keep the stem, I cut it off. But when you cut it off, you wanna make sure that you don't leave like a gooey spot there so I'm gonna cut it like uh, can you see like right above where it ends so that way and it's gonna pop off it doesn't give me open flesh so to speak there you go so just like that see I left that much of a little nub there all right and my stem went flying that way someplace not sure where all right so I am going to be taking some of my forest moss and I'm gonna make a little nest on the top so we are gonna start with just putting some glue on the top of my pumpkin. And I want a decent amount, okay? And then I'm gonna make my little nest with my moss. Now be careful that you don't touch the glue because the glue is hot. Okay, so there's my little nest, just like that. Now I've got something to glue all of my succulent pieces to. 
So when I do this, I always find my main biggest one first and I position that where I want it. Now I'm gonna be doing this as a trio of succulents. I have three different pumpkins that I wanna put on a table together on different heights. And so I wanna make sure that I don't have them like all the same. I want them to be different. So I'm gonna use this one as my main succulent. Now you could plunk it right down there in the middle like that. I like to offset them a little bit, makes them a little bit more interesting. Actually, I don't think I wanna use that one. I think he might be too big. I actually think maybe I'll use this one instead. Yeah, he's a little more appropriate to it. So what I do is I just go to the bottom and I put some glue on it, enough glue. Uh-huh, get in there. There we go. And then I just hold them on here, count to five, one, two, three, four, five. Ah, there it is. And he'll stay on there now. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add different succulents and create like just a little nest of succulents that looks appealing to me. Now, some of the other things that I like to do is I do like to take petals that fall off. And so what I'll do is I'll glue the petal on here and I'll just, you know, there's one. And you have to hold it for a second to get it to stay in place. And then maybe I'll get another one. I'm just putting the glue on the bottom. And I'm going to put that one right there. And maybe I'll get another one right here. So you can actually make flowers out of the flowers. So now that I've got the three petals right there like that, what I'll do is I'll find a little hen and chick that's the appropriate size. See, and I'll attach it right on top. But I think what I wanna do is a purple one because I do have some purple ones over here. And I'm gonna glue the bottom and I'm gonna nestle him right on there. So you can create little things like that as well. Now I can also take some of the sedum that I grabbed that has the longer stems and maybe I just pick off a few of these bottom leaves and I can add some glue to this. And I can also, you know, have them dangling down like that. And so I can just create whatever it is that I wanna create because it's your art piece. All right, let's do this.
the coolest. I love these. Don't you want to run out and get a pumpkin so you can make your own? I know. So easy to make. I have probably five or six more that I want to get done. I'm gifting a few of them to some friends, and then I want to put some out on the porch outside. I love these. All right, you guys, don't forget, Garden Gab is the first and third Saturday of the month now. If you have something in your garden right now, in the month of September, that looks absolutely fabulous, you want to share it, send us a picture in a landscape format. That means you need to turn your phone the long ways so I can fit it on the screen when I share those with everybody during Garden Gab. I need to know where you live, what zone it is, who you are, and what we're looking at. I hope you enjoyed today's video. That's all I've got for today. Hope you get out in your garden today. It deserves some TLC. And don't forget, so do you. And I gave myself some. Aren't these great? All right, run and get a pumpkin. Bye, everybody.